Quite a fitting way to salute Savannah's Irish and the military. The man running the show, Frank Baker. Last minute instructions and a moment for family. He's very proud of his family. Better shot for my lovely wife and two of my daughters. <laughs> <laughs> and one of my seven grandchildren. This used to be, they used to have to try to go grab people to come watch it. <laughs> And now we've uh, grown to what we've grown to. In fact, it's grown so well, the crowd streaming in, Baker had to lay down the law. And so it's just not long enough to be a free parade, a free band parade. Yeah. William Jasper looking over his shoulder, Baker shifts from organizer to host. And those inclined to be Irish at this time of year. And he's done such a wonderful job, there's no way we can replace him. They almost had to. I do not look like somebody who's been in chemo for six months. And I've been, been, been heavy chemo since September, and mm -hmm. God has been good to me. So with a standing ovation, friends and strangers alike thank Frank Baker for all he's done. But the best comes moments later. While the combat mission may be finished in Operation Iraqi Freedom, thousands of our brave troops remain deployed. Their wives and children are here at home missing them. Among those loved ones is Becky Patrick. Her husband, Master Sergeant David Patrick of the 165th, left for Iraq nearly two months ago, leaving her and their five children here in Rincon. Little David, who loves imitating his favorite dinosaur, is perhaps taking this time apart hardest. He doesn't understand or grasp the concept where he is. And um, so all day long, it's, where's my daddy? You know, I want my daddy. So, I mean, that's the first thing he says as soon as he gets up in the morning. And, you know, it's pretty much all day long he talks about his daddy. Children have a hard time coping with deployment. And so we're trying to, to, to bring them into this. And I try to, to get the parents to realize, even though they may be four, five, six years old, they realize something's happening. And, and a lot of times they'll blame themselves. They'll think they're the cause of the separations. To help them and many other families get through this difficult time, Frank Baker, the Wing Family Program Coordinator, is doing something special. I take a picture, you bring me a picture, I scan it in, I produce a heat transfer, and you bring a pillowcase in, we can take and put your picture on there, and then the, the spouse or the person that's deployed, the child, can go to sleep with their parent every night. It's just a way of staying connected. I just figured that, you know, it would help the kids out a lot. And she was right. I saw the pillowcase, and I was like, oh, cool, because um, that way at night I get to remember what's on my pillow. What do you think about when you see that pillow? It makes me sad. Why? Because I miss him. But Emily admits it also brings back a lot of happy memories. It's been really good for them because they can... You know, that's the last person they see when they get to bed at night is the face of their daddies. This is just one of the many things Frank Baker and the 165th are doing to make the time apart a little easier for families. And the 165th is also making dog tags for the teenagers. Walk through the halls of school and they hear that jingle, they feel connected to daddy or mama. Baker believes in staying connected to all of the families. As the Wing Family Coordinator, he serves more than 1,600 members of the Guard. He is my phone number, like I said, is on everything. My business card is in these. They get a kitchen magnet with my phone number on it. And I've got my phone set up. If you call me and leave me a voice message, it calls my cell phone within 20 minutes. That means at least 1,600 people have that number. And he prides himself in answering every single call. Great person. He, he's extremely good at what he does. And, um, you know, we you know, talk every once in a while. But he just... He's just a real nice, warm person, and we couldn't do without him, that's for sure, because we can call him any time of the day or night, and he's right there for us. So that's, I mean, that's remarkable. Uh, he's, he has actually got a passion for what he does. He has brought uh, just an unbelievable energy uh, to the job, 
He's absolutely the right selection. Frank makes my job a whole lot easier. So it is just an absolute, uh, absolute godsend to us that we've got him on board. Baker admits it's a team effort. He says it makes him proud to know that these small gestures are making life a little easier for so many families while their loved ones defend our country so many miles away. Dawn Baker, WGOC News. The festival's big gun with a multi-force color guard representing all branches of American military personnel, past and present, here and abroad. Many now engaged in a fierce fight against terrorism. I think after 9-11 we all need to be uh, not just shaking their hands and uh, patting their back in appreciation, but on bended knees and thank the Lord that we have men and women in uniform all over the globe protecting and promoting peace. But back home their families need support as well. We're also trying to raise funds for each of the military services in the community's family readiness programs. Uh, those are all volunteer programs, receive no federal funding. And when a family is in need and their service members deployed overseas, uh, sometimes a few dollars to help fix a washing machine or, uh, or car repairs or, or other things in the case of a serious illness where the insurance doesn't cover it really comes in handy. Congressman Kingston sensed just such needs when he was overseas. You know, when I was in Afghanistan, one of the things that struck me over and over again with the soldiers that I talked to is that they had wives and children back home that they hadn't seen sometimes for months at a time. So I, I think to take care of the folks back home is extremely important and, and show our appreciation to the, to the wives and the husbands and the sons and daughters. Now, while the festival will be great fun with all kinds of food and drink and plenty of entertainment, the Georgia Air Guard Family Readiness Support Coordinator is quite clear on the underlying cause. To say thank you to the military and to say we support the families as well because, uh, as you've heard, we've got a lot of deployments going on. There are families left behind, and we can't win the war without the family, and we've got to support them.